life. If the people in your life can't accept that, then it's time for them to go. Bye-bye. It's okay to say bye to people. It is. What a wonderful What's up, Chimisco? Welcome back to our channel! Ooh. If you guys are new here, I'm Shay. And Eunice. And today we're going to be eating some raw Korean crab. I know you guys have been seeing this on TikTok, but we actually did a video on it on Korea. So if you guys haven't watched it, check it out. Before we get started, you already know what time it is. Time to give a shout out to the first five commenters that commented hashtag Chimiscoat on our last mukbang. So big big shout out to Nigar Shaokat, Krishu, Marcy Skilling, Noshin Rof, and Grace Braganza. Yay! Thank you so much. Make sure to comment now for a shout out on our next mukbang. Comment right now. So today we are finally back with another Onni Talks. A lot of you guys have been requesting it. Thank you so much for being patient. Today we're gonna go into the topic of relationships. I say grace. Amen. Amen. So we have some spicy raw marinated crab over here, some soy sauce raw marinated crab over here, and this one's from Korea. We have some rice, a salmon head, and some side dishes, aka panchan and kim. Okay, so this is American crab. And this is actually Korean crab, imported oh, from Korea. Oh. oh, choice of drink today, Coca-Cola for me. And Coca-Cola zero. Z z z zero for her. Cheers. Cheers. You know, this is my first time trying Coca-Cola zero. It's not bad, right? It's not bad, but regular is better. <gasps> it's zero calories? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why it's called zero. Duh. So these spicy raw crabs have been all over my FYP on TikTok. You too, right? Yeah, I'm so glad it's going viral right now because people think raw crab is disgusting, but it's way better than cooked crab. I'm so glad people are trying it. Everyone's been getting it at H Mart, but we got it at Crab House. That place has been popping these days. The TikTok. line is so long. It's crazy. So they give us some sides. There's tteokbokki, bean sprouts, kimchi, tempura, chap chap, which is glass noodles, and sprinkles of seaweed. Okay, so starting with the raw. I want the spicy one first. I don't know why. This has been everywhere and I've been craving it. I'm surprised this one's going everywhere more than this. Yeah. Okay, so first slurp of the body. So what you do with the body is that you squeeze all the gut out. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm gonna get it all on my rice. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm, the marinade is so good. You guys see the gut that's on my rice? So you just want to kind of mix it with the rice. In Korea, we call raw crab pap dodo. It's called the rice dealer because your rice will just go missing. I mean, you need a lot of rice <laughs> tea with it. It's a little salty, so you can eat it with a lot of rice. Put it in the Beautiful seaweed. Mm -hmm. This is what you're supposed to do. This is the flavor. Oh. Mmm. So, the texture is slimy. If you're familiar with raw sushi, I think you'll be fine with raw crab. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's very flavorful. It has that spicy marinade on top. The Korean marinade. Mm -hmm. A lot of pepper. A lot mm. of chili paste. Oh, it's, it's spicy. It's, it's spicy, yeah. It's Korean pepper, so it, the taste is different. It's not like regular chili pepper. But you guys, the crab meat with the rice, mm. I'm telling you, is everything. It's so good. Mm. Honestly, the best way to eat it is just to suck it. You bite the shell and just suck it. so good. The shell is really soft, so it's easy. Be careful though, because you don't want to eat the shell. Mm-hmm. Kim garu. Bits of seaweed in there. Mm. Okay, before we forget, let's get into our topic. So you guys have been requesting onion talks for a very long time. We've been having an overflowing request. Mm -hmm. So we chose this question. Rani S asked, can you talk about friendships and dating in your 20s? Having standards versus being superficial slash shallow. Mm, that's such a good one. That's a good question. That's such a good question. Honestly, when we first read this comment, we had to really, really think about it. Yeah, it's kind of a deep question. It's kind of like a gray area, I feel like. What are some qualities of a shallow person? I would say being shallow is having no depth as a person. 
like only like, the outside like you only think about yourself mm. I feel like ultimately the difference between being shallow and actually having standards is what you have to bring to the table too I feel like a relationship is a two-way cross street you guys have to meet each other it can't just be one person all the way, you know? No, I agree. I think if you're just looking to take from the person when you have nothing else to offer, mm -hmm. that's when you're becoming shallow. And that's different from having standards. You can apply standards to someone if you can uphold the same standards for exactly. yourself. So mm -hmm. if you're looking for... Well, this is kind of a gray area when it comes to relationships though, because typically you see a beautiful woman marry a very successful man. Mm -hmm. But the beautiful woman can usually attract a very successful man because they have their beauty to offer yeah, as definitely. well as a man having mm. their wealth to offer. But aside from that, I feel like, this might offend some people, but I feel like a lot of women, we, especially these days, say like, oh, we want a man to do this and that and he has to be this and that, but we can't offer that same qualities ourselves. Mm. You can never attract a man with standards that you don't offer yourself. Honestly, that's true because some girls are like, I want a man with like six pack abs and stuff, but they don't even go to the gym. Mm -hmm. You that's really true. think a six pack man that takes care of himself is gonna look for someone that does not take care of themselves? So, I think in that sense, it's very shallow to think that you're entitled to something without you being able to offer it as well. That's shallow to me. I want to try the soy sauce one. Okay, I feel like this one is jam packed with meat. This one was more expensive. This one is honestly the one I like better, imported from Korea. But this middle gut part is what I want. This orange part is like the gut, but it's really good. Are you guys ready for that squeeze? It's like uni. Oh, you guys see that meat? Okay, it's gonna drop onto my rice. Super thick. Oh, all that gut. Wow. It's elevating. Mm. I'm just gonna. Mmm. Let me get the keem. Mm -hmm. So good. Oh my god. Get some of that soy sauce. Put it on your rice. Mm. Oh my god. Crabs are just so good. They're good cut steam. I love crab. Mm. I think when it comes to friendships, it's very shallow when you're just looking to take from a person. I have a one friend that actually would tell me that she didn't really like networking because she felt like it was fake. You just have to kind of meet people because you want to use them, right? Mm. And I understood her logic, but I think it's only like that if you don't have anything to offer as well. Mm. In business, there's a transaction. Both people have something to offer. So if you're networking or meeting friends, you need to do that knowing that you also have something to offer to that person. You bring value to the friendship. You're going to grow together and really be there as a support system. But if you're not looking to do that, then that's when it becomes narcissistic. You're just using the person. Yeah, so I feel like our answer has been based on what do you have to offer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basing what you expect on what you can also give out. I think that's what it comes down to. Like, are you there to actually love the person? Or are you just there for lust? Like, you're like just wanting to take from this person because they can benefit you. Whether it be financially, sexually. Yeah. yeah it doesn't matter. Okay, what about this? I don't want to date that guy because he's too short. Is that being shallow or is that having standards? I'm curious because I don't know this one. What do you mm. do? I think that comes down to preference. If you want to mm. date a short guy or a tall guy because they're more attractive to you, then all power to you. That That's not a standard. Anybody. I think standard is more like trust, loyalty. I think it's like morals and principles. Mm, okay. And I guess, yeah, being shallow would be a, a lazy, unemployed person without any will. Only going after a rich person. Yeah, I think shallow is like only when you're is that a good you example? think you think about yourself like mm, your best interest at heart, no one else. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's wrong to want the best for yourself. Yeah, that's a standard. Yeah, that's a standard. Yeah. Standards, boundaries, all of that is really important. But like, if you're envisioning, oh, I want to be a power couple, I want to build an empire with my partner in the future. That's not being shallow. That's like having standards and goals. Right. Like, what is your intention? 
mm-hmm. intention is really important because if your intention is just to have friends or relationships that make you look better or that benefit you, then you're being very shallow. Then that's shallow, yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day, you just have to check your heart, see where your intention lies, and go from there. That will give you a lot of the answers. Yeah. That was good. That was deep, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm drowning. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah, you know, your 20s is a very interesting season of your life because you're still a child growing into an adult and you haven't fully experienced life yet. You're just starting to experience reality and people in the world. And there's so many different types of people that you'll meet, but it's very important to identify why these people are in your life and really set your intentions with your relationships with people too because people will make or break your future that's true that's why you have to be very careful of who your friends are who your relationships are as the saying goes your net worth is your net worth and that's very true you know i recently watched a netflix series about the bling ring and it's about this one guy who gets really influenced by this one girl that came into his life and they like become serial Mm. robbers but basically moral of the story be careful who you're around that one person that you really are fond of and you want to be like, they can ruin your life, you know? Do not ignore red flags in people. And you have to really learn to set boundaries with people too. You have to ask yourself why this person is your life and why you're in theirs. That's very important. With everything that we just said, we don't want to discourage you guys from having standards. It's Make very sure. important to have standards. Yeah. Set your standards high. Live up to them yourself and also expect them from others and you will live a very successful life. And you know, the way you treat yourself is a mirror of how other people will treat you. So you have to be very good to yourself. Take care of yourself. Prioritize yourself. Prioritize your health, your education, your career, your finances, your family, everything about yourself. And if anybody interferes with your priorities, that's a huge red flag. That's when you have to ask yourself, why is this person in my life? That's true. Are they going to bring benefit to me as much as I bring to them? Not just a one-way shallow relationship, but both ways. That's true. I think it starts with knowing your self-worth. Self-love video, check it out if you haven't already. A lot of gems in there. So how you value yourself will shape how others value you. Think of yourself as a brand. If you mark your price this high, you gotta stay that level. You can't go on clearance, you can't go on sale, you can't have discounts. Stop discounting yourself just to please other people. If you know your value, set your value at that standard and the right people will come into your life. If the people in your life can't accept that, then it's time for them to go. It's okay to say bye to people. It is. And it's very important that you have to identify this as well because some people can be blocking your destiny. The next season of your life isn't elevating because there's people that's bringing you down. People that are dead weight. It's sad, but you have to let them go. And that's the hardest part in your 20s because you grew up with friends, childhood friends that you don't want to detach from. But if you want your future, you have to really, really set the right people around you. You know Very important. Sucks. Sometimes it's not even people that you meet throughout your life. Sometimes it's the family that yeah. you're born into. Yeah. Sometimes I see my friends and their families are very toxic. Someone in yeah. their family is bringing them down and down and down. Friends you can pick and choose to have in your life. Family you're born into. Yeah. But the great thing about that is, is you can just channel in all that trauma, all that uh, madness that happened into your life. Channel it and use that energy to become someone great and help your family. Mm-hmm. You are experiencing that for a reason. My number one advice to my friend that's going through this was it's okay to block them for now. Do you. Do what you gotta do to succeed in yourself. Mm -hmm. Your mental health comes first. Love yourself. When you get to the top, when you reach there, then you can have like that leisure to bring your hand down and, you know, help Mm -hmm. them. Don't forget your family. Yeah, I'm not saying abandon them. But I mean, oh yeah. In order for you to succeed in life, in order for your own health and success, focus on yourself. It be the ones closest to you. Yeah, even your family members. Yeah. So this is a salmon head that we got from the restaurant. It comes with a meal. We got so into the conversation, we didn't even try it. So that's Korean radish on top. And then salmon on the bottom. Mm. Mm. Mm, It's it's really soft. It's like holding a chorim. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, holding a chorim. Mm -hmm. Overall though, my favorite is the spicy one. Mmm. The sauce is kind of sweet too. It's like spicy, tangy, sweet. Yeah. I can't choose. I like both. I like eating one and the other. But we have to eat this body part. This is the best part. You see all this gut and slimy stuff? It's stuck in there. So what you gotta do is put a bunch of rice and just mix it in there. Have some rice. Alright. Oh my god. It's ready. Oh my gosh. This is the best part. I was... 
waiting for this. Can we eat it the same way as you? You eat this first and then the rice after, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The Korean way. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love Korean it's food. It's salty though. You need a lot of rice. Soy sauce. The really good thing about this meal is that you don't notice yourself getting full like fast. It's a lot of rice, but it's a clean meal. It's clean. You don't feel heavy. Mm -hmm. I don't feel food coma. Look at my eyes. It's like not like the other videos where I'm like sleepy. Mm -mm -mm. All right, guys, that was amazing, delicious was as so always. Good. Spicy raw crab, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. I'm really speaking any of the panchan. That's how good this main was. I think that's why. Yeah. I mean, honestly, this just kind of fills you up. It is good, but this is a star. Yeah, this is a star. But I mean, these are nice because we can save it for later. We have a lot of rice in the fridge. By the way, if you guys ever do get this, make sure you get the Korean crab. Oh, yeah. It's it way better than the American crab. Mm -hmm. If you guys like this Oni Talks, make sure to comment down. Give us some more topics that you guys would like us to delve into. We hope that this Oni Talks answered your question properly. What you can take away from this is as long as you keep your intentions and your heart pure, that's a great way to measure your relationships and friendships. Value yourself, prioritize yourself, not just for selfish reasons, but that you can also benefit others as well. Okay guys, so we're just gonna end this episode here. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up, hit that like button, subscribe, post notification bell, ding! If you guys haven't already, make sure to go ahead and follow our TikTok account, join Instagram account, and we'll see you guys next episode. We'll see you guys then, bye-bye!